you get mentioned in my name. We don't like what you say. I don't give a fuck. Y'all can suck my dick. So this module has been sort of dominated by Python. Obviously, Python is a more accessible language than, say, C or C++. At least most people think so. GCC is included by default on Raspbian. If you'd like to write native code in C and C++, you can do so, right? It's a Linux environment. GCC is just like GCC on any other Linux environment. Another thing that you might want to think about doing if you are thinking about writing C or C++ for Raspbian is you might want to write a Python module. So you can cr create a Python module in C and then create the wrappers for the Python programs. That's actually what RPIO, GPIO is, uh, what the Bluetooth libraries that I'll show you in later modules are. They're all Python scripts that wrap C or C++ modules. Now, another reason you might end up using GCC is not because you actually want to write something in C or C++, but because you need to compile something for the Raspberry Pi for the ARM platform. For example, Node, which I'll cover in the later module on using Raspberry Pi as a web server, you need to compile and you know doing so is pretty straightforward but that's another reason why you might end up going to the command line and using gcc now of course bash if you are a unix person is really more like a language than just a command line and you can create very sophisticated bash scripts on any Unix slash Linux platform, including the Raspberry Pi. And there are uh, wrappers for various pieces of the Pi. For example, the uh, GPIO ports have a wrapper that you can use from Bash. So I'll show you that in the next module on hardware. If you feel comfortable with Bash, you're a Bash programmer, you can pretty much do almost anything in Bash that you can do in any other language on the Pi. Again, Python, sort of the, you know, preferable language and the one that you will find most people on the web have programmed their Raspberry Pi with, but you will find people who have used Bash, you will find people who use C++ or C. So again, it's more or less what you're kind of comfortable with in this particular course because it's geared towards an introduction to Raspberry Pi, we don't really assume that you know Bash or that you know C or C++ or that you know Python, but we're giving you just enough Python to be able to work with the Pi in a, you know, at least significant way.